Welcome to clickmyproject.com Yeah, let us discuss about the food classification using computer vision and feed forward neural network. Yeah, let us discuss about the abstract of the product. So, sometimes image express a lot of information than a document can. So, a lot of computer applications are also introduced to extract this information. So, that is a mainly concept is contents based visual information retrieval. So, that is called as a CBVIR. So, that is a content based visual information retrieval. So, which is also known as a query by image content. So, that is a QBIC. That is a Q query by image content. So, that is a query QBIC. It's one of the application of computer vision techniques to the image retrieval problem. So, since information retrieval from an image hand has been introduced many years ago, there is a wide range of techniques in this area. So, but if the CBBI, that is a content based visual information retrieval, consists of four basic steps. That is um, also known as, a, uh, we are already known as pre-browsing, feature extraction, feature database creation and then matching the feature of the query image to the database so these are the four basic steps in the cbvir method so finally in this proposed method efficient algorithm for uh, color feature extraction or rep so the after various classification technique are compared based on the merits and demerits of the process so objective of the work is to provide introduction to machine learning and uh, column or base grading algorithms its components and current work reported on automatic fruit grading system however classification process is challenging for images capture in natural environment due to the existence of non-uniform illuminate on so different illumination produce different intensity on the object surface and this lead to inaccurate classifications so therefore the study focuses on the improvement of development of classifications models for images captured in the natural environment of the process so this uh, simulation of the process is done by using the matlab software yeah let us discuss about the flow diagram of the process so first of all click the input image so click the input image from the particular database and then the pre-processing image the pre-processing image filtering and resize channel separation the three steps are applied in the pre-processing step so first of all the filtering and again was as resize and again on the channel separation that is a rgb the three channels separated by the particular image of the process and then segmentation so in the segmentation process here we are applying the game and clustering of the process so again that is a feature extraction so in the feature extraction process using the GLC so that is a gray level co-occurrence matrices and finally classification the process is up so that is here we using the KN and classifier of the process so the segmentation process K means algorithm is much to using the segmented the particular image of the process so in the filtering process here we remove the noise so whatever the noise is uh, introduce the process so here we are applying the Gaussian filter like that so remove the process of the particular input image and then resize so in the resize process here we are using the resize to resize the image like uh, 256 cross 256 in the particular region of the process and then channel separation finally in the pre-processing step calculating the channel separation of the process and that is a processing means that is a rgb so red channel green channel blue channel of the process and then also these are the three steps in the pre-processing step and then segmentation so in the segmentation process K means algorithm is applied to segment the particular image what the fruit it should be classified. So that is a GLC, uh, that is a K means clustering of the process. Again, the feature it should be extracted from the segmented images. So in the feature extraction process, the application is a GLC. So that is a gray level co occurrence matrix it should be applied for the feature extraction of the process. The classification step here we are using the K and classifier or a neural network classifier to apply the process to find. Uh, what the fruit is it should be identified so it should be the apple orange like that so what should be identify the fruit particular of the particular input image so i will click the apple so it identify and the classify the process uh, fruit name was apple so that is in the classification process it should be applied so in the estimation process true positive true negative false positive false negative and then accuracy specificity sensitivity and then whatever it may be in the estimation process it should be class uh, it should be calculated by using the particular input image of the process so these are the overall flow diagram on the particular process yeah now we'll just discuss about the running procedure for the process so click the main guy and then run uh, the guide design it should be open so click the guide design and the whatever process it may be proceed yeah this is the guide design of the process so in this guide design so i will click that 
uh, this is the main guy so food classification using computer vision and feed forward neural network so first of all i click the input image so in the input image i will click so here i am using the testing and training there are three ta two types of data sets i will click the training process so i will uh, click one type of images so i will click the apple image so it will open so now the input image it should be displayed in this process and then next step is a split down merge so in the split and merge type the first step is i will click yeah in this is a background subtraction to subtract a background image on the particular it's denoted by one color and another one is denoted by the white color so this is a split and merge and then the next step so this is also a background subtraction to form the apple is in the one color and then the white it should be black color so these are the separate between the split and merge operation so in this image image resize here we using the 256 cross 256 of image resize so i click so this is the resize image of the particular original image and the noise filtering here we using the Gaussian filter so the noise it should be removed in the filter image so these are the input image and the pre-processing step and the next step is a channel separation here we click the channel separation the rods are separating three channels red green blue so these are the three types of channels are splitting yeah so i will click this channel separation so this is the red band green band blue band so three bands are displayed and then again the feature extraction process so in the feature extraction process here i will calculating three types of features one is a color and one is a texture and another one is a shape so i will click the color features the color features values are displayed in the particular region so in the color features values totally there is a 64 feature extraction values which should be displayed and then the text feature so in the text feature that is also one type of feature in has 7 so 64 plus 7 value that is calculated 71 so again the shape so in the shape feature they are calculating 8 so 71 plus 8 9 totally 79 features are extracted from the feature extraction process again the 79 feature it should be reduced by using the pc so that is a uh, one type of a feature reduction method so i will click the feature reduction so all the values which should be displayed so first of all so these are the test features values so test feature values are displayed up to 79 values again the train feature so in the train features whatever it may be so i will click uh, uh, totally i will get 373 images so all the images i will get 79 features so totally i will uh, in the inbuilt function i will uh, getting the 373 images so totally 373 images in the particular 79 features of the process so this is in the train feature of the particular images and then the next figure is a target so in the target i will set what type of images so i will click 373 images so that is 18 classification of the process so particular the one after one to uh, particular process the values all the values are displayed particular 373 images are displayed particular 83 process of the process so these are the target images of the particular image and then the next figure uh, classification and performance so i will click the classification so in the classification process so i will click the uh, display so it should be the apple or display the value so i will click the classification process so it's time it's take time time to run the process and then stop training yeah finally identify the fruit type so app <laughs> using the nnn classification so uh, to identify the fruit type the name is a by nnn classification neural network and then I click the Q, uh, confusion matrix so calculating the confusion matrix for the particular process so here i, I will get the accuracy is 95.6 so uh, this is the target class and then output class for the particular image of the process so these are the overall running procedure for the particular process thank you for listening this video